Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Colonial Downs here on Thursday. It is August the 8th, 2019. I'm going to look at races 3 and 6 from Colonial, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And Thoroughbred Racing returns to Colonial for the first time in just over six years, and I'm excited about this. Um, when I was a kid, I um, used to watch a lot of uh, Colonial, especially on Mondays and Tuesdays with all the other tracks being closed and um, really like the turf racing and they have a very underrated dirt track hopefully that could uh, you could see a little bit more dirt racing but um, when you have a great turf racing you know it, it's just, everything's just good we'll get to that but um, we'll look at races three and six let's get on to it and uh, you know some decent takeout rates could be a little better but better than most tracks but uh, let's get to the third from colonial which is an allowance race going for a purse sixty five thousand dollars great prize money here this race is for two year olds here fields of seven horses going the distance of the ground of 1100 meters or the distance of the ground of five and a half furlongs on the outer turf course 1100 meters five and a half furlongs outer turf and I show the diagram, just gives me that little extra second to look down my notes, just bear with me. My top selection here, I'm going to take the number three horse, Vincent William. I'm going to go 3274 in the Superfecta. 3274 Super, top selection of three horse, Vincent William. Two year old gelding by, uh, um, by Ichabal here. Um, Rilea Ravelli trains. Jose Valdivia Jr. comes in from Chicago to ride the horse. This horse is most recent out. It came the 22nd of June at Arlington. Four and a half rungs on the poly track and a main special weight for 30,000. And the horse did everything right that afternoon. One by four and three quarter lengths on the front and all throughout. Had blinkers on and, uh, you know, took off clear. But one thing, watch the replay. 16 pole, this horse just got a little overexcited. And he just couldn't, you know, couldn't keep a straight course. That was the only subpar thing about the race. Other than that, he ran a good race. Keep in mind, the second place finisher was a next out winner. Um, but uh, today he gets Lasix for the uh, first time. And, um, you know, I think that should help. Most recent work, I came on the turf at Arlington. Four frongs and 50 flat, breezing with the dogs up the best work out too and then before then the poly track at arlington five furlongs in a minute and two fifths of a uh, four fifths of a second it was the 10th best workout of 18 the workout patterns have been good since the race it's been getting better with every workout i think he's sitting on a good run has the speed from the inside i'll take him here two to one so to recap my selection for the third from colonial gonna go with the three horse vincent williams i'm gonna go three two seven four in the super facta so let's get to race number six, the uh, second dirt event of the um, afternoon or evening from Colonial. And something I do like about Colonial, before I get to the sixth race, um, in 2011 or so, they put in lights. Uh, they always had lights, but they put it so the turf course was uh, illuminated. And uh, with the night racing under the uh, lights, um, with the uh, turf racing under the lights, that's what I meant to say. Um, you know, I, I like that a lot more. But one thing I did notice, um, if those later races got taken off the turf, um, um, they, they were screwed because I don't think the main track is uh, was illuminated for those last three years um, when they uh, when, when they ran racing. I remember so many times, uh, specifically in 2012. I can't speak, pardon me. Uh, specifically in 2012, when they uh, had uh, to take races off the turf and uh, it was just too dark and the ra and they had to cancel the race card because uh, you know the main track wasn't lit up. Hopefully they fix that problem here. But uh, let's get to the sixth from Colonial, which is an allowance optional claim of per sixty thousand dollars race for three year olds. That up, we're going to race a main claim starter, which never won two races or claim price twenty five thousand dollars. Field of eight courses, going the distance of ground of sixteen hundred meters or the distance of ground of one mile on the main track. Sixteen hundred one mile main track, and uh, keep in mind. The main track circumference is a mile and a quarter, so there's one turn mile. On the back stretch, they can actually run a mile and an eighth, so that's quite fun also. One turn mile and an eighth other than Belmont. But the top selection here is a very good race. I'm going to take the three horse Street Trust. I'm going to go 3186 in the Super Facta. 3186 Super. Top selection three horse Street Trust. Four year old gun by Street Sense. Tracy Young trains. Jorge Vargas Jr. gets the leg up. Is in for the tag, by the way. But the horse is most recent now. It came 24th of July in Indiana. Mile and eighth in a start allowance race 10,000. And the horse finished fifth by three lengths. Had a little bit of a turn of foot late. It was an okay effort, but it was a little bit wide. Today, if he sits a little bit closer, I think he'd get a better run. And I think 
could run decently. Before that, Churchill mile 16, about 20. He finished second by two lengths. He sat back early, had a great turn of foot. He had a little traffic, but he, he got second. It was a good run. And then before that, a claim of 25 at Churchill, mile 16, off turf. He won by three quarters length. He sat back, great turn of foot. And, uh, you know, it was just a good effort. He He's proven his last three starts he could run on the uh, front behind towards the rear. But he could also do some great front end running, like he did on the 17th of March at Oakmont. About three sixteenths and started a race. The horse won by neck. He stuck. He got the lead, and he got there in the nick of time. A very good run. And then he ran. He was part of that marathon series at Oakland. After that, he ran a mile nine sixteenths, which is mile four and a half furlongs on the Oakland main track. And the started a race ten thousand. He finished third by two and a half lengths. But that was that weird race uh, on uh, Arkansas Derby Day where they disqualified the first two finishers for interfering with this horse. And I have to say that was a very um, you know smart decision by the stewards who have been lately have been getting, you know, uh, yelled about by uh, us horse fans uh, for having some wrong call calls. Do I agree with that? Well, we'll have to beg to differ. But um, that day, they got the stewards got it right. This horse got taken up and basically beat up by the horses in the top of the lane. Uh, he probably would have won, but, um, you know, it, and but they gave him the first place uh, finish. Um, I think it was the right call, but uh, it was a good run on the front end. Like I said, he could either run on the front end or he come from behind. I think the versatility with his horse is well. 8-1, to one, training well. I'll take him here. So to recap my selection for the 6 from Colonial, going to go with 3 horse straight to trust. We'll go 3 one, eight, six in the Superfecta. And uh, in the multi-race, I would go 3-1. So uh, good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 Good luck